CIA Secrets They Don't Want the Public to Know The CIA, or Central Intelligence Agency, have long been the subject of a lot of conjecture, what with their weird activities and clandestine behaviors. They might even be monitoring you watching this too, if some rumors are to be believed. They certainly don't want the public knowing much about their activities, but that's no fun. So here are some CIA secrets they don't want the public to know. Number 1. They're reading your tweets. Some people will be absolutely thrilled by this news. So desperate are they to get noticed by the powers that be. But think about it. Do you really want this? What about the tweets you make when you're drunk? You know you've done it. Anyway, why do they waste their time on this? Well, they want to stay up to date on the public's reactions to world events. The only drawback of their plan is that Twitter is absolutely useless as a representation of the country's population. In many cases, Twitter people feel the opposite way about things from their most regular people. Just look at the divide between normal people and the Twitterati during the last presidency. The CIA knows this, though. So they also use TVs, iPhones, Android phones, and computers running Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. Paranoid yet? You should be. They could be watching us right now. Run! No, wait, come back. There's more. They have a secret museum, but no one gets in. At the CIA headquarters in Langley, Virginia, there is a special 11,000 square foot museum. It belongs to the CIA, of course, but you won't believe what's inside. It contains every single failed and yet fascinating project that they've ever had, such as dragonfly drones, robotic fish, and pigeon-mounted cameras. This sounds more like the KGB than an American agency. The only problem is, you will never get to see the inside. Only agency members, higher-ups and invited and cleared guests are ever allowed inside. It is for that reason that it has been dubbed as the best museum that you'll never get to see. Even the museum's budget is classified, which must be nice when the IRS comes a knocking. The CIA don't want you to know about their screw-ups, but what else would you expect from an agency that once tried to turn cats into secret agents? Number 3. You can read all about the CIA online. At this point, you might be asking yourself, where do they get all this info from? The CIA must be garbage at their jobs if all of these secrets are in a YouTube video. Well, actually, anyone with an internet connection can find out a lot of info about the CIA by simply accessing Crest, a CIA reading room of roughly 930,000 documents. Over 12 million pages were declassified previously, and many of them shed a light on the agency's investigations into everything from physics to UFOs, all the way down to invisible ink. But that's not all. If you're interested to know whether the CIA has any info on you and your activities, you can actually request your own file. Imagine if you found that they had been monitoring you for years. That would make an interesting discussion piece at dinner parties. Number 4. The Starbucks at the CIA headquarters is not allowed to take your name. Picture the scene. You're hard at work spying on citizens and denying people access to the museum of CIA failures. It's getting late. You're thirsty and tired. You need a coffee so you head to CIA Starbucks. That's right. The CIA has a Starbucks, and the security at store number one, the aptly named Starbucks that is located inside CIA headquarters in Virginia, is tight to say the least. We've all been to a Starbucks by now, surely, and you know that most of the time you have to give them your name so they can call you out when your order is ready. Not at store number one, though. It wouldn't really do to have classified government agents' names being called out across a busy cafe. So the baristas have to match each order with a face. The staff of the coffee house also have to undergo extensive background checks and no one can enter the store at all without special security clearance. Don't know why they're so worried though, as Starbucks baristas' inability to ever get anyone's name right surely stands as one of the world's safest encryptions. Speaking of which, number 5. Mysterious Statues in the 1990s, the CIA HQ in Langley was the site of the installation of an encrypted sculpture called Cryptos. The curved sculpture was created by American artist Jim Sanborn, 
and there has been much speculation about the meaning of the four encrypted messages it bears. The first three have been solved, but the fourth remains one of the most famous unsolved codes in the world. You can easily find the solutions of the three passages that have been decrypted on the internet, and each one of them is ominous as you'd expect. While Sanborn himself has released four clues as to how to decrypt the fourth message, but the code is complex, with it being possible for some characters to even decrypt to themselves. This makes the code harder to crack than the German Enigma code, and is probably why to date, after 30 years of trying, no one has managed to successfully decrypt the entire sculpture. Number 6. Unconventional Torture Methods According to a report in The Atlantic, the CIA's torture methods are not always purely conventional. In one case, somewhat hilariously, they apparently used the loud, bass-heavy music of Red Hot Chili Peppers to torture a terrorism detainee. Other reports claim they've also used the music of Eminem to torture prisoners. While both these acts are extremely popular the world over, both of them, were they never to stop, could easily drive a person to mania, with their aggressive beats, bass and other rhythmic and tonal patterns that would probably make it hard to sleep. It seems that CIA agents are not without a sense of humor, as the irony of playing pop music to drive someone insane surely stems from the fact that most pop music is widely overplayed to make people submit to liking it, but often ends up making people hate it. Number 7. They Also Secretly Produce Movies while the idea of a government-funded gross-out comedy like American Pie sounds like a box office hit to be, the reality is that the truth is far more sinister and creepy. The CIA secretly bought the rights to 1984 and Animal Farm, two books that were written by legendary satirist and apparent clairvoyant predictor of the future, George Orwell. In 1984, a malevolent presence known as Big Brother maintains total control of the population through constant surveillance of every single citizen, backed up by constant propaganda to remind them that Big Brother is watching you. Animal Farm is more about democracy and capitalism, and both are horrifyingly accurate when compared to today's PC culture and state of safety over freedom. The connection between the CIA and these books isn't in their similarity to some characters, but in the fact that the CIA later funded the film adaptations of the two dystopian novels. To what end? We don't know. And there you go. Perhaps now you understand that the CIA aren't so much of a joke as American Dad makes them look. Between having secret museums, undecipherable statues, producing propaganda about anti-propaganda and torturing prisoners to the real Slim Shady, the CIA have certainly done their homework. Hopefully, they can stop following people on Twitter though, before they end up thinking everyone in the world is a rainbow-haired social justice warrior. Hope you enjoyed these CIA secrets they don't want the public to know.